What's up everybody, it's DJ Angelo, live and direct from the Reloop DJ Academy in Berlin, Germany. I'm back with another episode of Reloop TV, and as usual, I'm joined by another incredible Reloop artist. He's an accomplished DJ and turntablist, an artist in his own right, but he's widely recognized as an, an integral member of Public Enemy and the newly formed supergroup Profits of Rage. We are joined by Hip Hop Royalty today. Please welcome DJ Lord. Peace everybody, how you doing? DJ Lord, Prophets Rage, Public Enemy. Very happy to be here, DJ Angelo, Reloop DJ, Team Reloop. Let's do this. So we know you as a member of the legendary Public Enemy band. However, this has evolved and that you're now part of something bigger, Prophets of Rage, a super group. Can you tell us who exactly that is? Uh, Prophets of Rage, members of Public Enemy, Rage Against the Machine and Cypress Hill. We got Be Real from Cypress Hill. We got Tom Morello. We got Brad Wilk. We got Tim Comerford. And of course, we got the Rhyme Animal, Chuck D. We're together. It's not a, a, a label situation where like some big record label put us all together and say, this, this, this look, it'll work and I make it generate a lot of money. No, 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 no. Everyone is like minded. Um, we came together. We formed like Voltron. We rock out. You know, we're brothers, we have a good time, we have fun. Look out, Prophets of Rage. As I understand, you're in the middle of a European tour with Prophets of Rage. Can you tell us a little bit about how the tour is going and any highlights that you can speak of? Our bass player, Timmy C, aka Chap Chica, is now a master freestyle, freestylist. So we're rhyming every chance we get. We're battling every chance we get. Tom Morello's jumped in, Chuck D's jumped in, Be Real. Brad's even jumped in. So that's the highlight of the tour so far. Other than that, the crowds have been insane. The people are down with it. Even if they don't know the lyrics, you can see them jumping and fist pumping. Um, it's a beautiful thing. So speaking of Reloop, um, I see that you're using the Reloop RP8000 straights every time you're performing. Um, how has your show and how has your performance changed since you switched to these turntables and why are these your turntables of choice? Check that out. Um, simply put, the Reloop RP8000s are the shit. The torque is awesome, the braking is awesome, they're, they're, they're stable and they're my turntable of choice and, you know, trust. I came up on Technic 1200s and 1210s and uh, I know they're the industry standard. It's a new day. No diss to techniques because they brought me this far, but as far as the next level, I gotta give it to the RP 8000s, man. I mean, they hold me down every Prophets of Raid show, my solo gigs, you know, and they haven't failed me yet. The sound quality, the punchiness, the platter, um, solid, solid products. So very happy for Reloop that they brought these to the world man it's really really good stuff when you're touring with the band you're the first guy on stage right you're opening to thousands and thousands of people which is a huge responsibility how do you physically mentally and practically prepare for these kind of opening sets you know i have a martial arts background so i use a lot of those you know meditative and, and stretching techniques before I go on show because to me it's, it's basically going in, into a war every show so you may see me backstage like tomorrow you guys may see me backstage stretching kicking doing elbows spinning spinning back fist and like what's wrong with this guy you know the the, the techs always run from me um, but it's it's that type of process that gets me ready to jump on stage as like you said the first person that they see so according to Wikipedia, you've been a member of Public Enemy since 98, replacing their original DJ, Terminator X, which I'm sure was a tough act to follow. So how, how, first of all, how did that come about and how were you discovered and what's been your evolution in the band since? I was doing my whole nine to five thing, working two jobs when I just moved to Atlanta. And one day I'm going to work and Rock was like, yo man, you know, I met Griff, they need a DJ, Public Enemy needs a DJ for the upcoming Poison tour, you know. Can you, you know, Griff is coming over to the house and I'm thinking he's pulling my leg, I'm thinking he's, you know, just messing with me because at that time I was doing everything I could possibly think of to make it. And so I'm getting pissed at rock, I'm cursing and calling every name in the book, slamming the door on the way to work. I come home, who's in the living room but Griff? 
He's like, DJ Lord. I'm like, yo, yo, yeah, man, what's up? You know, good to meet you. Um, Rock most told me about you. I heard about you on the battle, you know, underground battle DJ circuit. Saw videos of you. You know, Terminator X is retiring. We need a DJ. Can you handle it? Yeah, man, sure, sure, sure. So fast forward, I met Chuck. Um, I got this this uh, inst- uh, instrument, this uh, machine, the instant replay, which is basic thing to hold samples, old school thing that they use in radio stations to hold songs. And third week I was headed to Belgium, no rehearsal. In front of like 15,000, 20,000 people, no rehearsal. The S1W is telling me, yo, don't mess up because Norman Terminator used to do it like this, used to do it like that. I'm green as an apple. Yeah, man, sure, sure, sure. Dude, I get out there, I'm messing up, I'm pressing the wrong button, I'm pressing the wrong cue, you know, 911 is a joke, hit me, can't trust it, you know, just effing up left and right, because, you know, I grew up on public enemy. You know, I'm 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 looking at the show like everybody else. You know, I'm 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 in the sh- I'm doing I'm in the show, but I'm more of a fan. So after a few shows like that, and then you know Chuck giving me encouragement, Flavor always giving me encouragement. Um, I got it, you know. And it wasn't until I started doing me that I got it, because I was so busy trying to be Terminator X and give you know pay homage to X, because you know he influenced the hell out of me. I'm trying to do the song the way it goes and not, you know, do anything outside of that. But by this time, I was a full-fledged turntablist. I was battling, you know, you know, all respect to X, you know, a lot of the scratches were studio stuff, you know, like say, for instance, you know what I mean? If he does the the rock and roll scratch for Rebel Without a Pause, rock and roll, by that time I'm going rock and roll, you know, modifying the Vestex uh, line, the line switch. So I was making myself more reserved to fit in and it wasn't until I started doing me that I got it and once I got it Chuck was like hey man you know you bring a you you bring a breath of fresh air to the group I'm not going back to the old way welcome to the family that's an incredible story man thank you for sharing that you touched upon your battle history just now Um, a lot of people might not know that you're a very accomplished turntablist and you have a lot of battle experience can you speak on, on that a little bit and also your thoughts on where turntablism is right now? Battle history. Wow. Revisit that again. I had a great time doing my battle, you know, my battle run, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, win or lose, lost a lot, <laughs> a lot, unprepared, a lot, met some cool guys on the road, got influenced. Um, I'm glad I came up in that era. You know, no, no disrespect for for the you know the current guys i love the new stuff i love the new technical the thing about getting into battles a lot of you know it, I, I see it as necessary it's you know that's what i say you got to get in there and get get your battle scars don't be afraid to lose don't be afraid to lose don't get afraid don't be afraid to get hit it actually makes you a more rounded dj i think you have the scratching to fall back on you have the the turntablism the the the, the outside of the box thinking to fall back on when you or if you are looking to make it in the club scene you know versus like say the dj that jumps up and gets a gazillion songs from his homie and some equipment and all of a sudden oh yo i'm a dj no bro doesn't work like that does not work like that you gotta you gotta you know, do your homework, get your ass kicked a few times, skip a few meals. Am I going to eat lunch today or am I going to buy the 12-inch single Public Enemy Rebel without a pause? I'm that skinny dude that chose the vinyl. (laughs) So uh, pay your dues, be humble, know your history. Just know that it, it doesn't begin and end with you. It goes on. Turntablism, we're still young. You know, companies like Reloop DJ has helped further the art form by making the equipment that it makes, you know, so you can bring out these ill ideas and with the MIDI and the, you know, the, the, the new style turntables, et cetera, et cetera, man. So you, it would behoove you to take advantage of that. So um, you've been a Reloop artist for just over a year now, right? And we're very proud to have you on board. Um, what does this affiliation mean to you? This affiliation means the world to me, man, being a part of Team Reloop, because, I mean, I'm not one of those dudes that jumps on a company just because they give you free stuff. 
you 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 want to you want to be a part of of movement or something you know or or a company that actually gives a damn about the artist gives a damn about the dj and furthering the art form and i see that in reloop you know the product solid um i've tried it i beat the hell out of products they sent me just trying to get you know a, a negative out of it so i can send back i'm one of those dudes like if you send me something and think i'm just gonna just wear it or or just, hey look i got this new no no i'll take it to the lab i run it through the test the necessary tests and and you know i get my 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 mac actual feedback so and reloop passed the test with me so i'm proud to be part of team reloop and using the rp 8000s on the road every show with profits of rage and i look forward to see what you know what the guys have for the future okay so some quick fire questions to finish off is it true that your real name is lord aswad yes my real name is lord aswad and uh trust it's easier now than when i was a child you know an element you know younger imagine calling a role in school bro and they go, John present, Peter here, Lord. And all the kids look back at you, good children are ruthless, you know? And I remember every one of you guys' names. Okay, best thing about doing what you do? Meeting cool people like you, DJ Angelo, represent. <sighs> My man. On the flip side, what's the worst thing about doing what you do? Getting nervous stomach, bro. Or having to pee when you do these festivals and you're way up somewhere and you gotta go pee in the bathrooms way on the other side of the freaking planet. That's the absolute worst. <laughs> not, not what I was expecting, but <laughs> hey, we can all relate to that one. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> We're keeping that in, by the way. <laughs> If you weren't a DJ, what would you be? If I wasn't a DJ, I'd probably be a park ranger. You know, I'd always be Yogi Bear, you know. <laughs> park rangers are always cool, bro. They got the cool shorts, the top, and the hat. And it's green. It's planet. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm park ranger. Favorite public enemy song of all time? Welcome to the Terror Dome. And I tell Chuck D this every time I get, and you know. Chuck let everybody have it. it. It was at a time where everyone was coming after Public Enemy about any and everything because the world didn't understand it and Chuck let everybody have it. Favorite place to chill when you're not on tour? Probably will be Honduras. Love it there. I was there um, last year off the grid, way out, became a local, scruffy in the whole nine, walking around with no shirt, no shoes and I mean, to a point where the locals on the boat were, were asking me for directions and things. I was straight up looking like a <laughs> Grizzly Adams or something, man. So it's going to have to be Honduras. Okay, and finally, I understand that you have also released an album, a solo album yourself. You are featured in a documentary, as well as doing all the things you're doing with the band. What can we expect from DJ Lord in the future? In the future, you can expect a few more collaborations. Uh, we just wrapped up the collab with my homie Cool Keith, uh, 3PO. Uh, it's called Eagle Force. It's going to be released soon. Check that out. Got a, um, Let me drop a mixtape here or there. Got some other stuff dropping with Prophets of Rage. Uh, be Real and I working on a tune. That's going to be sick. And uh, hopefully you and I jump on something, man, on some reloops. Dude, let's make it happen. So expect the unexpected. Okay, DJ Lord, it's been an absolute pleasure having you. Best of luck with the tour. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm DJ Angelo, DJ Lord. See you in the next episode of Reloop TV. Peace.